Hello everyone, I am Neharika and welcome back to a new lesson. Well, in today's lesson, we are going to look at business English phrases related to making, changing and cancelling appointments. Now, in the corporate world, people tend to meet their clients, their suppliers, owners, managers and so on. Now, how do you arrange for these meetings? Well, that's what we are going to learn in today's lesson. We're going to look at some phrases that would help you to arrange for meetings. So let's get started. The very first thing that we are going to look at is making appointments. So how do you make an appointment with the person you intend to meet? So here are some phrases. The very first one is can we arrange a meeting? Now can we arrange a meeting is when you are requesting someone. Now as I said you know in the corporate world people are very busy. Usually most of them have a packed schedule. So how do you request for an appointment? This is the phrase that you would use. Can we arrange a meeting? Okay so here you are requesting. And if you would like to use a better phrase then you can say, if possible, I would like to come by and see you. So probably you have called someone, maybe it's your supplier and um, you are looking forward to see him for something for your business. So rather than saying, can we arrange a meeting? You can also say, if possible, I would like to come by and see you. So again, this phrase is also used to put in a request. You want to show or you intend to meet this person. So go ahead and use these two phrases when you're requesting. Now let's look at the other three phrases here at the, on the board. So here you are fixing on a time or rather suggesting a time and day. How about Monday? So you say how about Monday or how about Wednesday? You are asking or you're suggesting. Another phrase that you can use is, is next Tuesday convenient for you? So you know we are busy corporate people, yes they have too much work to do. So you can say, is next Tuesday convenient for you? So you want to give that respect that you know we respect your time. So would Tuesday be convenient for you? So again you are suggesting. And then the last one here is, would Thursday suit you? So just another way of suggesting day and time. You can add time as well, like would Thursday 5 p.m. suit you? Again, you're respecting uh, the time. So add time with the day. So you got it? So here are the phrases that would help you to make an appointment with someone. Now the next one is agreeing. Now, oh, yes, probably someone has called you and intends to meet you and you are okay with what he or she has suggested. So how do you agree to it? Well, these are the phrases that you would use. The very first one, that sounds good. Okay, that sounds great. So any two words, it means that you're okay meeting at the time that's been suggested to you. So that sounds good or that sounds great. Another one, Thursday would be perfect. So probably you're not doing anything else and Thursday, the time that's been suggested is just perfect for you, it suits you. So you can say Thursday would be perfect. And then the last one is very simple, that's fine. So you don't have to get into too many words, you can just keep it simple by saying that's fine. Right? So these are the phrases that would help you to make appointments and agree to what is being suggested. And now let's have a look at some phrases that would help you to change or cancel the appointments. Now let's have a look at declining and suggesting. So at times, you know, you cannot go ahead and agree to the time that's been suggested by the other person. You are busy and you have something that you got to do. 
So how do you decline? Well, firstly, you can say, I'm afraid I have got another meeting. Now, this is a great way to decline. Of course, you cannot directly say, no, I can't meet you. That would be quite offending. So rather than saying direct no, use a phrase, oh, I'm afraid I have got another meeting. So yes, maybe that's true. Maybe you really have another meeting and you cannot meet at the time that's been suggested to you. So that's how you would decline. Another way, Tuesday seems to be a little difficult. Now, maybe you are busy on Tuesday. You have, uh, you know, some meetings or probably you are going to meet someone on a Tuesday and this time doesn't suit you. So rather than again saying a direct no, you would give him respect, give the person respect who has requested to meet and say Tuesday seems to be a little difficult. Okay, so these are the two phrases that would help you to decline. But with decline, probably you can also suggest another time. So how do you do that? Well, you would say, I would prefer to meet on Friday. Is that okay? So probably Friday, you're not very busy. Okay, it's uh, the last working day of the week and you're not very busy and you have time that can be allotted to someone else. So you can say, I would prefer to meet on Friday. Is that okay? Now, it's very important for you to ask this question because again, you are respecting the other person's time as well. So is that okay? Has to be asked. Okay, will this time suit the other person? Right? So you have to ask this. So these are the expressions that would help you to decline and of course, suggest some other time. Now, how do you cancel and change your appointment now probably you have already decided on a time okay and yes you were okay with the time and you agreed to it but now there's something come up and you have to cancel now do not cancel at the last minute okay if your meeting is at 5 p.m you cannot call that person at 4 55 and say hey look something has come up and i can't meet you that would be so rude and not professional at all. So please try to call a little earlier, okay? Probably if you have a meeting in the evening, so call up in the morning and tell him or her that you would like to cancel the appointment. And how do you do that? Well, something urgent has come up. Can we fix some other time? Okay, so probably yes, uh, you know, something has really come up and you won't be able to uh, meet that person. So you would say that I'm sorry. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is apologize. Okay, so you're going to say I'm sorry, something urgent has come up. Can we fix some other time? Okay, so that's how you will say it. And another phrase that you can use is something has just cropped up and I won't be able to meet you today. So the word cropped up or the expression cropped up is just very similar to come up. So cropped up is when something has come up, something that you have to do and you will have to do. Okay, so something has just cropped up and I won't be able to meet you today. Again, you got to apologize right so this is the way you would cancel and change the appointment right so now that you have established these phrases that would help you to make cancel and change appointments go ahead and use them it is extremely helpful in the corporate world and i'll be back with a new lesson till then have a great day